that moves. ENCA.com. If you love all things books, then you may want to head over to the annual Josie Book Fair, which kicked off yesterday. It's not just for book fanatics. Everyone is welcome to network and engage in all activities from book launches to readings. To tell us some more, we have the organizer with us, Elijah Kodisang. Elijah, uh, tell us just a little bit about uh, this year's book fair, or maybe just give us a bit of history. Yeah. Well, the book fair um, started five years ago, and uh, it was really a project of Kenya College and an NGO. And we are interested in promoting a culture of reading and writing in the country and also promoting self-publishing, indigenous language publishing. And for this year, our focus is uh, on libraries, the role of libraries in uh, bringing knowledge and literature. And uh, libraries are very important sites of knowledge. And um, the, to, the book fair started a few days ago, but the public events uh, yesterday and today. And uh, so far, it's been going well. We've had over a 1,000 people visiting yesterday with uh, over 400 school children. And this uh, morning, um, uh, today, an exciting program. Um, we've got the National Children's Theatre coming through today to uh, do a play for children. We've got uh, puppeteers coming in. We've got uh, illustrations for children. So anything to get people interested in, in reading. And um, some of the highlights for the day are that uh, we're having a um, 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 a reading of uh, Ronnie Castle's book, uh, Armed and Dangerous, but uh, um, he will be doing it with uh, the new Bon Fries, you know, people that will be voting for the first time, and they will be asking him as a former minister of uh, 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 the current government to explain, you know, why things went, uh, went wrong. And also we have uh, Bishop Sioka, uh, Dalim Porfu, and Ronnie Castle talking about Marikana and book launches, and, and uh, so there's everything for everyone. Yeah, it certainly sounds like a, a, a feast for the book lover. Yes. Um, you mentioned libraries, uh, and obviously with education being uh, such a concern in South yes. Africa, do you feel that books and reading um, are high enough uh, in the order of priority? Unfortunately, I don't, say, I don't think so, um, which is why um, one of our partners for this year is the Gothenburg Book Fair. So we have a delegation from Sweden visiting us to basically tell us how they do it. Um, unfortunately, we, uh, books are not uh, high enough of a priority. Uh, we had a conference with librarians from uh, all over in partnership with the National, Lib uh, uh, National Library. And, um, and uh, uh, what has come out is how libraries actually struggle to survive. And um, they've had to come up with pretty innovative ideas uh, in terms of getting people to read, uh, including perhaps uh, starting food gardening because gardens, because they've uh, discovered that children are not able to concentrate enough because they have no food. So we have a really, really big challenge in the country with over 9 million um, young people unable to read after 12 years of, of schooling. So no, books are not enough of a priority. Is it an insurmountable problem though that we're facing in our country? I don't think it's insurmountable. If we look at uh, history, um, once again, if I were to refer to countries like Sweden, who were pretty much were much worse than we were a um, uh, hundred years ago, they've had to start a culture of reading and engagement and and value knowledge, you know, and they've had to start it without the kinds of resources that we have at our disposal. So I think that there's a lot more that we can do, and uh, if everyone basically pitches in and. Um, and we support initiatives that encourage people to read, I think we'll get very far. And uh, we certainly, uh, are we any closer to there being the death of the paperback? Uh, are you concerned that uh, the physical book is uh, uh, an endangered species? I don't think so. I don't think the, the physical book is an endangered species. And I think we, we've pretty much far from having iPads for, for children at school, most certainly. I think there's still a few decades of the, of the book. The problem in, in, in the country, obviously, is the price of, of paper, which makes books very expensive. And parents have to choose between feeding their children and reading. And I think that shouldn't, be, that shouldn't happen in a country like ours. Just to give us an idea, have we seen an increase in uh, new authors on the block? Uh, anyone to look out for in your, in your mind? I think there, there are quite a few exciting authors. Um, uh, Mugabe Rachikoni, for example, who's uh, publishing under Mampur uh, Publishers with uh, Professor Anton Haber, you know, who's uh, published a very interesting work uh, called uh, The two a Child of Two South Africans, you know, about a real life story of a, a child who grew up with, uh, in a suburb with, uh, in a white family and suddenly thrust back into the town 
scholarship. And uh, so there's a number of uh, very exciting um, authors that uh, people have to see. And I think we have over 100 events, so I can't even begin to mention <laughs> how many. But I think people must, must come over and bring their children over too. Uh, just give us an idea, how well attended uh, this, this year's book fair is, is uh, I mean, uh, is yeah. getting a wide, wide support from, uh, from people? We are, uh, certainly, uh, since we started five years ago, and I think, just as I mentioned, we've had over a thousand visitors last, uh, um, on Friday, and this was uh, uh, mostly school children with uh, grown-ups basically coming in from about one o'clock, so we're expecting a lot more visitors this year. Um, last year, we only had about uh, 3,000 visitors coming, we're expecting more. So clearly, we're not yet at the level of uh, Cottenberg with 96,000 people visiting and uh, over 100 exhibitors, but I think um, we have to start some. Somewhere. Well, thank you very much for your time, Elijah. Uh, that's Elijah Kodi Sung, for organizer for the Josie Book Fair. If you want to know more, head on down to Newtown, where the Josie Book Fair 2013 is underway. News that moves. ENCA.com.